Okay, so uh, tonight's session is just going to be about uh, using the uh, Mount Library resources, uh, specifically thinking about uh, some of the business information that you're going to be uh, needing in your classes. So unlike some of our sessions that looked at articles and research articles, what I'm looking more at tonight would be uh, more things like a company report, uh, the SWOT analysis. Ah, so Mohammed, you're having trouble hearing me, and and of course you can't hear me as uh, as I'm typing this, as I'm writing this. Okay, so um, as I was mentioning, um, tonight, uh, rather than looking at books or journal articles, we're going to be looking at resources such as uh, company reports, uh, the SWOT um, analysis, analyses for more than one, and uh, demographic information. So from now for the uh, SWOT analysis, we'll be looking at uh, the Business Source Premier, one of our databases. It has journal articles, but it also has a lot of company information. So I want to highlight that tonight. And then for the uh, demographic information, I'm actually going to take you to the Statistics Canada site, which actually has a lot of information that can be of use for business students, so we'll, we'll look at that as well. And you have lots of chance to try it out on your own, and, and then you can uh, sort of report back how that went. Uh, before, before we get started, just want to see if there are any questions or if there's anything that you were hoping that would, we would look at uh, tonight. All right, so not seeing any questions, so we'll move on. So to get to the uh, the business guide, we can just scroll down on the Mount Library uh, homepage. And I'll go slowly with this, because I know sometimes it takes a while for the uh, web page to render properly. So I'm going to go to Guides A to Z. And then here we're going down the list to go to the Business Administration Guide. And because we're looking first at the company report, company report and the SWOT analysis, we're going to go to the Business Source Promo. And I'm just going to, of course, you're, if you're off campus, you will have to sign in. It's the same sign in as your Moodle login. And I'm just going to give you a minute or two to make sure that you can get to this uh, same page that I'm on. And let me know in the chat box if you need me to repeat any of the steps that I took to get here. Hi, Megan. Uh, no problem. We're just getting started ourselves. Great, Danielle. I'm glad you're in.
most certainly. Let me actually start on a new page. So from the library, what I did was I went to the uh, guide A to Z, or A to Z if you're using the American pronunciation. And then I scroll down on this page to the business administration uh, link here on this list. And then we went to the first item on this, which is the business source premiere. Oh, great, Mohammed. I'm glad that you've got a, a good mic and can hear. Right, so once you've gotten into Business Source Premier, and again, you may have to log in if you're coming from off campus or if you're on uh, Wi Fi, and that login is the same as your Moodle. Great. So now usually um, here, I mean, again, this is a great database for, for journal articles if you need them for any of your, your reports or your assignments. But there's some other um, really neat things about this database. And you can see up at the top, we have the company profiles. So you can get and look for information about a particular uh, company names. And these all come from a um, market line. So they're a, a sort of a, a reputable um, sort of company information uh, source. And of course, it's not just for Canada, but for sort of international companies as well. One of the things you want to think about when you're searching for companies, uh, because so many companies may be owned by larger companies, you want to think big. So let's say if you look for Tim Hortons and that doesn't come out, it's useful to find out who owns Tim Hortons uh, to be able to to get to the the main company. So if I search for Pepsi, for instance, I can then uh, click on the uh, on the list. Again, you, in the report, this gives you a bit of information, but it also lets you know sort of all the different uh, products and services. And then on the left hand side, we've got the, uh, the PDF. For the whole company profile. And again, you can see in the uh, table of contents, you know, you get things like the the history, key employees, you get the uh, the SWOT analysis, as well as top competitors, so that you can see that for some of your, your courses, especially if you're doing like a market analysis, this could uh, be quite useful. You know, you just click on it and then you... Uh, get to the actual page and here they actually go into some detail. You know, they don't just list the uh, strengths, weakness, opportunities and threats, but they actually give you a bit of a discussion on them. And that's good. I'm glad that this will be helpful. And of course, you can download this as well to your computer. So I'm just going to go um, back for a second. Uh, and. Um, Actually, uh, I'm just going to let you guys uh, search for, you know, just use this a bit. So again, from the main page, you know, when you click on it, on it and you link to it, it's, it's up here, company profiles that you want to click on. So again, just take, you know, a minute or two, just go into the company profiles and just search for a company and let me know if you were able to find the company or if it might be one of those cases where it's a smaller company that you then have to figure out who the 
the parent is to be able to, to find information. Oh, great. Yeah, I wish you had known about it earlier too. I, I know that there there's some uh, courses that this is especially useful for. Great. Anybody had any uh, problems at all with what they were searching for? All right. Okay. So let's uh, just moving on a little bit to another um, way of getting to it. Because that's if you know the, the the actual company name. But let's say your assignment might say, okay, who are the main you know industries? Let's say in clothing in North America. So you don't actually have a name. You just have the the name of the larger product area or the industry. So again, if you you know, in the main search, if we just looked, let's say, just like clothing or apparel or dress, I always like to to use a, a couple of different um, words, and you can see here I'm just doing the or. So the or between means it's going to look for all three of these words. And then once I search for that, I mean, of course, it's it's bringing me back. You can see here over 147,000 articles on all sorts of different aspects of of clothing and apparel. But I'm going to scroll down to here, where you can see it's giving me the uh, source types. So it's just on the left hand side. And you can, there's all sorts of different filters here, but and I'm going to go into the show more. So under show more, you can see now we've got things like industry profiles, market research reports, SWOT analyses, and even I mean country reports. Uh, I imagine based on the country where some of these are coming from. So I'm just going to, for instance, I'm just going to do the industry profiles and update my results. Now you can see we still, well, it went down to just over 2,500 from the hundreds of thousands. That's still a lot. So the two things you want to kind of look here for is, of course, the country and, and also the year. All of these are probably going to be a year older. Um, again, this is all sort of competitive uh, data here, so they tend to to provide us with things that are a year or more older. The the up to date information is is highly prized and priced. So you know, again, if you're interested in Canada or Canadian, you know, you'll want to add that to your 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 search doom. Oh, and of course I uh I lost my um 
my profile. So again, I just need to scroll down here, and I can either go to show more, or you can see that industry profiles is now on the list. If it wasn't showing up on the list, I would have clicked on show more. And now I'm getting the uh, apparel retail industry profiles. And oddly enough, the, the more recent one is actually the second one in the list. So it's, it's worth it to just look at the date, because of course you're going to want to, to use the more recent uh, um, information. And then we can actually get the uh, industry profile on this particular industry in Canada. So again, I'm going to have you guys uh, just uh, try and do that on your own. Again, the um, I'll just go back to the main page. The, the steps, of course, I took up here were just to generally um, sort of pick a, an industry. And then I, after I found like tons of results that just had everything on it, I went down to the source types. And then I actually went in under source types. I had to go in to show more to actually initially get the industry profile to, to show up. So again, give that a try and let me know how it goes and which industry you actually looked for. All right, that's cool. And it, what year was it for, Daniela? Was it uh, like 2015, like a more recent one? Great. Yeah, because you really want to pay attention to the to the years with this. Anybody else uh, find anything interesting? Ah, interesting. Okay, let me. Um, I'm just gonna take a quick little test of that. So the telecommunication. I'll just um, just let me uh, try that on our screen here. I'll just clear my results. So I, all right, so you did tell them. So with that, I find sometimes, um, I'll just do the search, and then we'll look to see if we can't. Uh, so then we want to take a look at the industry profiles.
So what I find, like, you see here we're not getting anything, like, specifically, like, there's, there's still um, not quite the reports, like, there's some information, but it's not quite the reports, and there's not the full text right away. So what I tend to do then is look under the subjects to try and see what they're seeing here. So you can see that the term is more telecommunications rather than telecommunications technology. And that might work for the, uh, the SWOT as well. Okay, let me uh, change it to what you did, which was the uh, SWOT. So I'll just um, shift that. So again, you can see that it's giving you um, SWOT analysis for particular companies that are involved. Um, and then you can see here, this one is telecommunication equipment industry. This one is information uh, technology. So I think what you would find is that if you um, tweak this term a bit, either just went with tele like went with the, if you're interested in telecommunication equipment, do that, or if you're um, interested in telecommunication streaming, that would be another one. So let's just um, play around with this term a little bit. I'm glad you gave this uh, um, example because it uh, really shows how you can, um, sometimes you have to tweak your terms and how this little subjects area can help you choose the right uh, term to use. So just with telecommunications, I'm going to go down here. And again, we've got, uh, you can see with the broader term just how many more industry profiles and SWOT analyses we're getting. One thing to keep in mind is when you choose the SWOT analyses, again, you can see that you're getting specific uh, companies, and when you, uh, and you can see too up here, you can turn off um, if you've chosen something. This is where you turn it off to go back to, to all your results. And then I'm going back to the show more just to show you the difference of the industry profiles. then we're getting the broader industry. So again, it depends on what your assignment asks for, but if they've asked you for a report on the sort of the industry as a whole, you want to make sure that you're, you're giving the overview of the whole industry and not giving them specific companies. But again, you can see how um, This uh, will then give you these different telecommunication services in the uh, the different countries. So, Kandaka, again, if you want to try that again, just kind of trying variations of the telecommunication technology to be able to get the type of industry or the type of company that, that you would like to find information on. So anybody else have anything to report on the type of results they were getting and if it was what they expected? All right, so again, the, you want to remember that um, this area down here, the source types, is a really handy filter in the business uh, database. And it's only the, the business database that you're going to get items like SWOT analysis. 
or SWOT analyses, product reviews, market research reports. You don't tend to get these categories in the other databases that uh, sort of more into the academic and scholarly work. For some assignments, you will need academic journals, and you can certainly find these in the Business Source Premier, but it's also got this other really rich business information that can, can come in handy. So you can either, I mean, just come down to the source type here and select it. Uh, some students do what they do. If they know what type, they just type in the type here as well, and that is a little bit of a shortcut. So you know, play around with it and see what, what works for you. And remember, we're always here at the library to help you find what you need for your assignments. All right. So any other questions about this before we move on to the demographics? All right. So I'm just going to close out of here. So on this uh, same uh, business administration guide, what we've done is we've tried to collect some other um, resources that will be helpful in business. We're going to be doing a, a little bit of a sort of renovation project on this. I mean, some of the uh, links have become a bit out of date, so we are going to be refreshing them in the next couple of uh, weeks for more for next term. But tonight, the one that I want to show you, so if we scroll down a bit, so under data and statistics, you can see there's a page for demographics. And we're going to visit that page. And then there's two things here that I want to show you. The first is the Statistics Canada Community Profiles. And this is a, an excellent uh, tool for finding out information about a particular um, sort of neighborhood. So once I click on it, you can see that it's a census profile. And I'm sure you're thinking, oh, 2011, that's kind of old now. And the good news is that the last uh, census that they did, that information is going to come uh, become available in February of next year. So there's, there's new information that uh, will be coming soon. But for now, we are in the census profile. And the best, I mean, most times, you know, like if you just do a, a place name, you, you're going to get like the entire city or the entire province, which is really large to work with. You might want to be more interested in what a particular neighborhood of Halifax, um, what the breakdown is like, especially if you're, you know, you're thinking about marketing to a particular community or com a particular area. So here we can actually do searches on for the uh, postal code. So again, I'm going to do for the area around the, the mount. So B, I think it's B3A, J, 2M6. And I can search for that. Nope, nope, I got it wrong. I mixed up my letters. B3M2J6. Thank you. <laughs> so, and also showing the importance of not making any typos while you're switching. Great. So the neat thing about this is they actually sort of give you all the um, the different levels. So if you wanted, you could see the information for Nova Scotia. You know, B3M to J6 is within Nova Scotia. If you need your stats for Nova Scotia, you can uh, you can get them. But you can also drill down and say, OK, you know what? I'm actually interested in getting the, um, the census division, so the actual census tracts within within um, Halifax. So I think it's, oh, sorry, subdivisions. This is what I want.
Okay, now I'm just going to check it. Okay, so it's giving me for the whole of the Halifax region. I always like searching on um, this, clicking on this map because this lets you know what your data is for. So I'm just going to go back up um, to the last page. Let's um, try the uh, census division. Wait, I uh, made a mistake here. Ah, this is what I wanted. The set, the actual. I didn't go uh, full, as far down the page as I should have. It's the actual census tracts that I want. Again, if I click on that. So you can see now, I'm looking at the neighborhood. You can see, you can actually see the road. So this is the Bedford Highway here. And we've got Highway 102. We've got Larry Utec Boulevard over here. So we're, this is actually giving us the data from just the mount and the neighborhood around the mount. I can come up to the, up at the top. I go back across to the data table. And I can see that I've got information on families and households, language, and the population of the area. That lets me know how many private dwellings. The other interesting thing is over here under related data, We've got the census data, that is marital status, families, household dwellings, languages. And we can also look at um, the National Household Survey and that information. Again, all this for that little neighborhood that we're around the mount. So you see this includes education, ethnic origin, housing, uh, religion, um, employment. So that you can actually get um, quite a lot of information about a particular uh, neighborhood in using this. So again, I'm going to give you a, a little bit of time to try it out yourself. So from the business guide, we went down to demographics. And then the very first link, the Statistics uh, Canada link. You go here, and then you can search for your um, uh, postal code or a postal code of a friend or family and then you know you want to um, be able to do that. Uh, yes, you're quite right uh, Jendaya. Um, th so the information about Bermuda <laughs> wouldn't uh, put me on here. This is uh, the Canadian data. Yeah, and I think this is really neat, especially um, in terms of small business, um, to to be able to know what your catchment area is. The funny thing is that um, they probably do have the data, they just haven't made it accessible over their website. So by all means, try it out. Let me know if you're getting stuck anywhere along the way or if you want me to show you any of the uh, steps.
Yeah, exactly. And I think uh, the um, income of um, of ho household in income information would also be uh, useful as well. And of course, you can see here that you can download the tables into Excel. So, I mean, you'll be able to to massage this as you know and combine it with other things as well. And it's just good again to know, as you know, when you're doing the research, that the National Household Survey, which is also done during the census, gives you slightly different information from the census data. So you'll know to, to look for both and not just the, because the first thing you see is the census data, but you may want to dig a little bit deeper under this related data tab to be able to get the national household uh, data. Great. So any um, questions uh, about this uh, tool or good? Actually, this is my favorite one. I mean, it's useful in so many different contexts as well. So staying on the uh, the Statistics Canada site, I just want to show you a neat thing because Statistics Canada has lots of neat information. But it's a bit challenging to, to find the the information sometimes on their on their site. So when you you know, and you can just Google uh, Statistics Canada or even StatScan, and you can get to this page. Uh, a good tip: I find their search website isn't particularly uh, helpful. But one thing that is good is this: in the news, you can see how they have the daily. They uh, they have to, it's sort of by law, any new report that they do or any new data that they, they get or that they release, they have to report it in the daily. So this is um, a good place to search to get um, statistics. And again, it's, it can be hit or miss what device released and how old it is and all of that. I'm just going to do a, a really general search on um, retail sales. And then you can see that we've got, um, they released the report. August 2016 on retail trade. And again, this is a, a whole report, you know, complete with charts um, showing you uh, sort of the the report on sort of sales um, within the um, the country. Now, from this, you might then be more interested in thinking, okay, you know, if I wanted to 
to look specifically for items with, um, let's say, um, uh, Nova Scotia. And again, so here you can see that this is the, the text, so they actually give you the report. You can also um, download it here. But you can actually get to the, uh, the data tables as well. And here you get the breakdown by province. So you can see, okay, this is for Canada, but then you can see how each province did um, in relation to, to each other. You can actually uh, sort of, they let you add or remove data from this table. So then you can do a more customized search. So let's say we, you know, you want to keep Canada for the overall comparison, but maybe we just want to see how Nova Scotia did in comparison to the, the rest of Canada. And then you can see here too, you can, um, This one is actually just showing you for, it's sort of good to know, okay, this one's just showing you um, motor vehicles. So again, this is, oh, actually here it is. You can see that it's all the different sectors. So you can um, sort of change that depending on what you need. I'm making it really big, but, you know, obviously. You can change it. Now, this is a neat thing. Now, that report was just for um, 2016, but maybe you want to see how things have changed over the last, you know, three years. And then you can apply that. Yeah, I won't scroll down to the bottom because I know it's uh, on Blackboard Collaborate. It takes a while to render, but you know, again, you can see that it's it's giving you several years worth of data, and again, you can play around and and um, compare it that way. So again, I'm going to give you a little. I'll just uh, mention the steps again um, from the StatScan site. which you can just easily just Google anytime you need it. Oh, I mean, you can also get it from our um, uh, guide, but sometimes it's uh, just as easy to, to go to it directly. The daily is just a good place if you want to, to search on a, see if there are statistics on a particular area. Um, again, I did a very general search uh, for this one, but you know, you can even, if you're interested in a particular sector, you can see that um, sometimes particular sectors, you'll, you'll find that there have been um, sort of recent statistics on that. Once you get into the, uh, the report, You can see that you both get the overview text of the report that lets you know um, just an analysis of the topic. And then you get a link to the CANSIM tables. And this is getting into the data that you can then um, sometimes, I mean, depending on the topic, I mean, obviously for retail trade, there was a lot more that you can can um, sort of zero into than something like the example I have here with uh, with honey. But let's just check out the, but in all of them, you can see that they do still give you the ability to add, remove data. 
and um, sort of drill down to what you you actually need to to get from it. So again, I'm just going to give you some time to try it out yourself. And as with everything else, if you have any questions, if you want me to repeat any of these steps, just let me know. Yes, I'm noticing a lot of people dropping in and, and dropping back out. Um, of course, this session is being recorded, so I, I will have a link. Uh, you know, where you click to join the session, I'll have a link to the recording, so you, you'll be able to watch it and um, get some of the points that you may have missed when uh, the uh, Mount Wi-Fi kicked you out. And of course, um, anytime you need help with finding information for your assignments, please let us know at the library. You can even um, book appointments for 45 minutes to meet with a librarian one-on-one, -on -one, and we can help you find information like this if it's uh, required for, a, for an assignment. Oh, that's cool. Wow. And then I find like when you get statistics like that and you add it to a report, it just elevates the, the whole tone of your assignment, you know, when you're able to, to get current uh, you know, Canadian data, it, it really um, adds to to your assignment. So this um this retaining to the uh, business guide here. So we you can see that we also have a direct link to the um the CanSim site as well. And that's where all the uh the data tables are. So you can actually, um, you know, search So you know, if I search on uh, vehicles, of course, I mean, vehicles is such a, um, a broad term. You can see that there's uh, lots of uh, over 503 different sort of uh, tables that would be related to vehicles. But for instance, you can see.